The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. <clears throat> uh, good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Wednesday, the 23rd edition of the Tiger Technicians Hour. And we're looking at the Dow up 115 at 34,403. It sounds like a lot, but look at this. It's just an inside bar so far. However, what we are looking at is that if I do a left side, right side price time match, that's bar symmetry which took us from the gap uh, way back in early July all the way to the 35,679 high on the 1st of August, down again in the same number of bars to the same area, this is exactly where you can see some kind of a bounce. The bounce I drawn in the other day, I can actually move it over a little bit because the low was made right there. I'm expecting some kind of an arch. Now, what, what does an arch mean? It means that within the context of a larger formation, you've got a bit of a bounce coming, and that bounce has the 34,649 period move, pink nine period moving average, pink because it's under very sharply under the 14 period moving average. We had used that. I'll talk about that in my webinar this evening. What it all means, and I'll discuss something in a moment, which we were waiting, we were anticipating that this particular uh, symbol would go down uh, to a sell signal and maybe even a sell mode based on this methodology. And now we've got the 34,766 as a really strong upside move. Let's just say NVIDIA today comes out and, and initially they give the kind of report that they had on that huge spike day whenever it was. Was that over there? When it went to the high for, at 480.88 around about the 16th, 17th of July. And then it kept coming lower and lower, lower. And now it's gone from yesterday's high, which is an all-time high of 480, was it 3, 480, 481.87. I may as well just type that in here. There we go. 481.87. So that was yesterday's high. Today's earnings come out after the bell. I just typed that in a, a couple of days ago so that we knew exactly what was going on. And we will see what happens. Why? Because NVIDIA is the chip that is needed the most in the most number of uh, areas. In fact, automobiles and, uh, and, and games, and they have the cutting-edge technology. Well, we will see if the report that they gave here, where there was a chat we've inverted Roman candle, um, is followed through this was it this one or was it even earlier than that? Um, I need to check that out. Yeah, I think, what, what was the last? Oh, it was that last quarter. Anyway, whatever we're looking at, we're looking at NVIDIA has this huge gap from the three, from the 25th of May, oh, so May, June, July, August. Oh, maybe it was three, three months ago, but I thought in between they came out with it. Anyway, whatever it is, they've not even come back to the low of 366.35. Um, and the, the bar before that had a high of 298.06. That is a huge gap. Usually I fill that in. I say, hey, that's the gap. In fact, I'll do that now just to show you that gaps can get filled but you, there's no, there's no rule. There, there is no law of a generic law that says gaps need to be filled in a certain period of time. They can take as much time as they want, but invariably gaps to the upside do get filled. Gaps to the, from the downside going up, that is gaps going to highs, invariably get filled at some point. It's just a natural sequence because there's a rollover coming at some point, digestive phase, and it falls in a number of gaps. Not every gap, but a number of gaps. So let's get out of that right now and say, at this particular point, um, whatever NVIDIA does, the SMHs are beholden to. 
So the SMH is today up a dollar eighty-three. That's the SMH, the Vanek Semiconductor ETF. At uh, 151.34, we're actually short from 161, 159, uh, just over 159, 161.17 was the uh, all-time high. And we'll see what happens. We've taken really nice profits in the in the aggressively long position, a little bit in our sh major short position. So we are long the three times short, and we'll see what happens there. Now, this is going to be really important. Why? Because look, it's holding the 14-period moving average. It's in the weekly chart. It's over the nine. And look at the distance between the two. Did I just hear a bell ring? Bell ring, so now you can make it. Yeah, Earl and Seminole. Earl, how are you? I'm doing fine, Basil. How are you? Well, Earl, TBT and Sem Seminole. That TBT screamed up to the 38th. Now it's made a doji candle peak F top. Whew, we're going to be watching that. But your question today, congratulations. Your question today is? SLV. Okay. So I'm, SLV. Long, I'm long and I'm looking for a, where you would get out. Okay. So this is very important. I share Silver Trust, SLV, trading at 22.10, up 64 cents. That's up almost 3%. That is a huge move in a single day. It's probably one of its biggest moves in in the last couple of weeks it did do that before back in july um had huge gaps and then it made a peak c uh actually that peak c i was called it a peak c minus it shouldn't really be it's still active because it hasn't taken out the low you can get other notations underneath that so i'm taking that away mm -mm. now okay so there are a couple of things going on number one is silver itself and as, as i've been saying for a little while now from my perspective, silver's been way stronger than gold, and it's telling me that there's something else going on in silver. It's way more viable as a chart pattern than gold. That doesn't mean to say gold can't you know, have a spectacular move. I'm just saying, this pattern, look how much gold has come down. Look at the weekly chart, dreaded H fails. Uh, the monthly chart is just kind of sideways, whereas silver is shown a far better chart formation, and this weekly chart with the lowercase h pattern right here that just nicked the, the downside support and then had this good week that so far it's the middle of, not even the middle of the week, we're only beginning in the middle of the week, can create a second U-shaped pattern like this. And what this does, because it took out the left side low, it says it might stall under the previous high, and that's the high of the week of the 21st of um, July, that's continuous contract at 25.47. But let's look at the SLV, and you'll see that that did not make a low, a lower low than the low that was made uh, 20.46, 20.45. That was the low of the week of the 30th of June. And that just says that this particular pattern here has the potential. Hmm, I didn't see it quite that way uh, a couple of days ago because I was waiting to see what would happen. Um, that has the potential to make a deep cup, like a, like a deep dish pizza. I actually don't like deep uh -huh. dish, but I like, I like thin crust. Anyway, so that says this particular pattern has a chance to close above the high of the week of the 21st of July of 2316. It's at 2216 right now. I'll, I'll go into it a little bit more as soon as we return. We've got Earl and Seminole part of the SLV. And I'm going to ask Dan if he's listening in the den. Could you just post what it was that you were going to look at earlier on? I'll be back in a moment with, uh, with, with Earl and we Dow is up 105. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, so we are back and we're back chatting, chatting with uh, early the Seminole. We had a long discussion about the TLT TBT quite a while ago and uh, Earl was looking at higher prices and that TBT soared. Right now, it's looking a little toppy in the very short term. Now he's on to SLV. So this is what I'm looking at. The SLV has a Chapman Wave falling axe formation. That is a pattern where it makes a high, then starts to make lower highs and much lower lows, and then it turns around. And if it can break that downtrend line, which is it's doing as we speak, it's just above it, that's going to be very good because it creates um, what I call a Chapman Wave inside track Re repellent zone that becomes a propellant zone and that gives you support in the short term at about 2180. If it starts to get to 2160 in the next three days without popping into the 2230s, uh, I'm going to say to you, just be a little careful. I do think it's turning the corner. But if there is a follow, even if, wow, well, if there's a gap up follow through tomorrow, that's going to be very positive and say, yes, we might finally get that leg D above that high that was made uh, in the 20, early low 23s. And that's going to be really positive. Then that monthly chart, and I need to just discuss that. In fact, I'll put this in here. I'll put the SLV, uh, discuss SLV, discuss this afternoon. Because this is the low bar right here. Um, the in March of 2020 at 10.86. And then it went to peak A, a huge peak A, and then a peak B, stalling at about 28. And then it took a long time, kept coming down, did dreaded H and failed. And then it, it held the 16s, and then it started again. But that low bar in the Chapman Wave says that every peak needs to be counted. So this becomes a leg A, then a peak A, even though you'd expect it to start there. No, it starts right here, A. B, C, and that suggests to me with the speed with, the, with which the SLV is consolidating every month, that if it's able to 
it, on a weekly basis, if it's able to push above uh, 23.16, it doesn't have to close. It just has to push there. It says, wow, there's a really good chance that it could even in the, in the next two months, it could even get to the 23.94, like 23.95 starts a leg D. So I like it very much. This might be part of a process that says it keeps on having these huge gaps and then it fails, but it keeps making higher lows. And that's what you want to see. I like it. I think you got in great. But I would say to you that if it gives back very quickly, 50% of the gain that it's made between yesterday and today, in other words, if it starts to trade in the next three days, somewhere in the 21 65, 2180, 2165 area, then it's going to stall for a while. But but so far, I like the pattern. The MACD and stochastic and 9P moving average in the weekly chart need a lot of work, and you're going to have to have price that needs to do it. 2250s will really improve it. I hope that helps you. Yes, it does, Basil. I said it for years. You are the best. Well, I, and I'll say to you for years, I, I need to record that and play it for my wife so that she can, <laughs> she can hear that. <laughs> How are you surviving the heat? Uh, we, we're not having heat. We've had a lot. Of, we've had one of the coolest uh, uh, late Julys and early August uh, in, in a long time. Mm. A lot of rain we've had. It's been the hottest in Florida in years. That's what they heat say. Heat advisory exactly. every day. Tommy was saying that the water was over 90 degrees. I mean, my kind of water is over, I love over 90 degrees. But um, <laughs> that's not good at all. That is really tough. Well, I hope you survive everything very well, and I hope your SLV starts to climb even further. Thank you so much for calling, Earl. Thank you, boys. Oh, be blessed. Thank you, you too. So, folks, a couple of things I want to look at here. I, I'll do this real quickly because I didn't have a chance to do it yesterday. Um I had a question from Phil about C, which is, I typed it in the den by mistake, C, which was, it is, Citigroup. And the question about it, and all I can say is that that left in the monthly chart, it's gone from a peak D all the way down to this a, peak A, peak B. And if a, the price fails and takes out the left side low on a closing, this is a monthly chart, the low of 44.27 from November of 22, last year, if it closes two months under that, that is really negative. Then you have to look at the next left side low, which is way down in about 32, 31, somewhere around there. So this is exactly the moment based on the unbalanced volume that says there should be a little bit, at least a little bit of a bounce. And it, it actually needs to be more than a little bit. It has to take out the ugly candle of yesterday. It has to close above. I would just say Citigroup, has to close above 40, 4360 in the next two weeks to kind of save the day. Because if it starts to trade in the 39s or lower, that is just, it's not good at all. It's really, a, the lowercase h has gone to a low case. In fact, it looks like the bonds right now. Look at that. You've got this arch formation it goes to lowercase h, then lowercase m, uh, and a bigger arch. And I could actually do the left side, right side price time match. I'm going to do quite a few of those tonight in different uh, sectors of the market. That's what people would like to see. And I'm going to do that uh, right there. And that says you've got another week to go. This is a weekly chart to test the left side low of 40.01. And the Azure, this is just a perfect, look at the symmetry, bar symmetry, I love that. So let's just show you exactly, this is a larger arch, but within that, you've got two M-shaped patterns. And look at this, it's coming in, coming in for a landing, and it better save the day. You need, uh, what was his name on the Hudson River? You need really a beautiful land here, otherwise it goes underwater. So I'd be really careful. Now, if you're looking at, if you are along this, and you're looking to... I would just say, if you haven't done any money management at this point, you really have to do a little bit. Even if this is the exact moment that it could spike up, put in some kind of a stop just to say, i got to protect what I've got. Uh, right now, you've got 40.87. If it goes to 39.87, you lost another dollar. So put in a stop. Today's low is 40.76. It's just a little bit above that. For a little bit, just money management says you've got it. If you haven't taken off a little bit, take off a little bit. I hope that helps you, Phil. Uh, next question came in is Vuzi. 
Vuzi is, oh, I haven't looked at this for a while. Oh, uh, Vuzi is, uh, Vuzi calls smart glasses augmented reality. I remember I looked at this with Dan, the other Dan in the Dan, uh, who has really good picks, and this is one of them. Um, let me just see, I don't know if you, I've updated this. So there was a left side, right side price time match. This is the bar symmetry, exact bar symmetry that I was showing you in Citigroup. Look at this bar symmetry right here. And it says to this particular base, not the real low, which is right. The first real low is the one on the 15th of May, 368. The next one down is 356 on the 25th of April. This is the one that's right here at uh, 403. So that says... It's trying to form some kind of a base. The MACD is just trying to, to turn up. Stochastic's a little bit better than it was. It was in the single digits. Now it's in the 15, but the on-balance volume is very weak, and the 9 period is way under the 14. So there's a whole process of work that has to be done. Um, I would just say to you, you want to see in the next, by Monday at the absolute latest, without breaking $4.10, you want to see... 429 to start a leg B, and that'll be the start, a very small start to the output. Hope that helps you. Uh, we'll be back in a moment. Gaza Trap and Tiger Dinesh is our Dazzle 83. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Just finishing up the notation here. This is Schlumberger. Um, at just this moment today, 
went to a sell signal and it might be upgraded to a sell mode in the daily chart. The weekly chart is still uh, SLB is the symbol and this is for uh, zip in the den. Uh, we went to a higher high, but this is the issue and this is the sort of thing that I will discuss today in the webinar because that's your starting point right here for the buy signal to buy mode on the 15th of July of 2022. We're looking at the weekly chart. It went to peak A, peak B, C and D. Then it made this beautiful cup formation. I drew in the left side, right side price time match and I drew it in right there. It was a bar late and it came in with a new recovery high and that was at 60.12. Red candle last week and this week's a red candle. So that weekly chart is still very positive. Um, most importantly, what we're looking at is that the daily chart is starting to sort. So what I want you to finish up with, yes, this could be A right here, a gray A, because uh, it's uh, the stochastic was still under 80%, gray A. And then this becomes not just a B, but an E slash B. Why is that? Because my starting point was here. If this trough took out the, the start of the leg A after the, uh, the low was made, if that low was lower than that low, I'd have to say this is a brand new leg B. But no, this is a continuation pattern. And you've got in the, in the weekly chart, G never goes to an H. In the chart wave, there's never an H. So this says, go back and check to see what you've got because that has to be considered um, G slash B. And this is a brand new leg C to the upside. So the monthly chart is still very bullish. This is Schlumberger. Uh, the weekly chart is still very bullish, although there's a potential for a double top. And the way these double tops have worked is just uncanny. Semiconductors, a year later, no, a year and six months later, goes to within one point of the previous November all-time high and, and then turns down. I mean, how, do these, how does it even know? Anyway, so the high that was made in Schlumberger, right there on the January, the week of the 20th of this year at 59.45 was surpassed just by a hair. It went to 50, uh, it went to 60.12. Uh, 60 so isn't that amazing? Now it's pulling back. And if you look at the right side of the weekly chart, the MACD is really good, but it's way under what it was, the strength there. Stochastic is, um, is, is very good. And the unbalanced volume is very good. And the nine's way over the 14. So this weekly is still very good. So I'm just saying to you, on a shorter term basis, together, oh, let me just show you this. Did I? I might have shown it, but I'll do it again. Uh, let me just do this quickly here because I like to update why, we, why we're working. I like to do live charts. If I'm not trading it, I'm just looking at it and always notating, notating, notating all day, all day and all night uh, because it's good practice. It's the way you just get better at something by practicing and practicing. Here's yeah, your double top, and it's holding the nine period moving average. The one minute uh, is a leg B in the 10 minute chart. All right, I'll get back to that so far. It's holding, but it looks to me like it's a, just about to have a little bit of a dip. That's the one minute chart. Let's get back to our story. What did I want to show you? Look at this. Crude oil just turned negative on the unbalanced volume. That was the top, and we discussed it in great detail. For days we've been talking about it. I said crude oil is looking to me like it's getting toppy. Look at this crude oil. I think that peak F top, I said that 9 EMA is eventually going to turn down below the 14, and you'll see all the other technicals weaken. And that just says to me there's a dreaded H pattern. What's the dreaded H pattern? I'll be doing this tonight. It's this pattern right here. It's the lowercase h that comes straight down, rallies, fails at a peak A or a B, or a B becomes an A minus or a B minus because it takes out the left side low. That 200 period moving average of 77.16 would be my target. And that makes it a bit of a surprise to me because uh, we have a, a very low price. Uh, let me go back to this uh, chart that we're looking at. SLB, so this is just the start of a little bit of a turn down in uh, Slumberger, a Canadian company, I believe oil service and you've just got to be a little bit careful here because on a daily basis when if it it's at 5662 the low today was 5552 if in the next by monday or tuesday of this coming week if it's closed under 54 
it'll be a bit deeper and it'll start to impact the weekly chart. I see the upside resistance in the 57 to 58 area as pretty strong. I don't think this is the move that has it retest the high that was made uh, three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. I think it is in a digestive phase. I hope that helps you. Next question I had was, uh, could I, well, I wrote it down, wrote it down, wrote it down. Did that, did that, did that. Oh, NIO, NIO for GT. Um, calls, huh? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Neo, the Chinese car company, electric cars, vehicles, uh, it really is struggling. None of the technicals are positive. The stochastics flat at 5%, 4.99, 5%. that just says, you remember when uh, the price, the stochastic is in the 95% area, I say that's exactly what you want if you're long. On the downside, if you're short, this is exactly what you want. But you don't want to be, I, I, I'd be careful. It's got maybe a little bit of a bounce. 11.63 is the 200 period moving average. But I'd be real careful in Neo Inc., Chinese electric car company. Okay, let's just go back and see if we did get that sell signal right here. Uh, peak D, double top. No, it's still in the rectangle formation. So we're watching rectangles eventually. Long, elongated rectangles eventually break to the downside. And we'll see if that's the case in this particular instance here with the E-mini up 27.26. Okay. Um, I don't want it to do too much now. I want to just go steadily through. So in my webinar, I'll be looking at the different sectors. In other words, IBB, a lot of people are still in the biotechs. What's happening to the biotechs? Well, We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the importance of the 200 period moving average. What about the XLP? During times like this, when you see uh, the, the general market and the general consensus is that the market is fraught with fear. There's a lot of fear, but there's also a lot of complacency. In other words, the fear is a mental anguish. The practicality is that people are not doing very much. I'm pretty sure they suck with their portfolios and they are just looking. Well, if that's the case, Look what happened to the, the safety factor, the S&P Select Consumer Staple Spider. Peak D plunges, did a one-to-one -one from the 200 period moving average. It's at some kind of support here. Is that going to hold? Uh, I've got Fibonacci numbers in the weekly chart, but that's really not the issue here. The issue is that this is the sector that people go to when they're really concerned about rates or all sorts of other things. They go to the consumer uh, staples, and that's not happening. I mean, let's see what's happening to Pepsi. Pepsi has plunged. Did I not have it all notated? I did. Oh, we'll just do this quickly. Peak A, uh, right here. Peak A. So I'll be doing this, and I've had a couple of qu quite a few questions come in. Is this what I could look at during my uh, webinar? So this is a webinar to say what what do I think is going to happen in September going into October? What well, what about the different sectors? What's being favored right now? Um, what about the AI? Of the AI stocks, is that it? They've had it? Some of them take the dive. I would say no. I think they'll be back. But they're taking a very well on uh, over, uh, over accommodated uh, news related uh, stories, AI, etc. So it's just a, a well earned uh, period of uh, digestion. I'll be back. Dallas up 58, SBs up 27. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yeah, thank you, uh, Zippy. Uh, it's uh, Captain Sonnenberg. Uh, yeah, that was absolutely great. Okay. So a couple of things I need just to look at here. What do we do with, with time? We've got a little bit of time here, so I'm going to take it easy. Uh, about SLB, so thank you, Jambalaya. Let me just see. Uh, Jambalaya. Yeah, you know, the, uh, for, for many of us, uh, uh, Schlumberger, um, I, I've watched it. Well, first of all, it took years to know exactly whether it's Schlumberger or Schlumberger uh, because of the way it's pronounced. Um, yeah, thank you for all that information. I, I will check it out. But it's been around a long time, and it's one of the really great companies in the field. So what I'm looking at here is I, I had a question about uh, UUU and UU, UUU UU and UEC the other day. So I had to mention, because uh, subscribers, we are in it. Uh, the last move, move in was at 364. I like for subscribers, and this is what I'll be dealing with it tonight. I like to have a whole mix. So, for instance, we could have $360 instruments that we buy, but we could have $3.68 as well. I like to have it all over the show. Why? Because this is not – this is a, a smorgasbord of, of – individual areas that are starting to work and others are not. And I'm a little, just a little concerned that if crude oil starts to pull back because Uranium Energy Corporation is in the field of energy, how does it react? But so far, it's been doing very nicely. And there's there are a whole bunch of patterns. And look here, look at this beautiful left side, right side price time match. I couldn't go to the exact plumb line. I used another candle. I'm discussing exactly which candles I like to use. If you can't use visually the plumb line, the mathematical formula on the left to the right to think that you get an equal number of bars going back up to the left side high or down to the left side low if it's an arch formation. So 430 has been my target for a little bit. And now we're at four, 423 today, seven cents away from the target on the left side, certainly in, a, in so far in a much quicker time frame than what I had had. For instance, I had this initially, and then I thought, I'm being a little too optimistic. It went from 430 down to 230. I mean, almost cut in half. I should have used, if I couldn't use the left side, sorry, if I couldn't use the plumb line low, the fifth of, week of the 5th of May, um, because visually at this particular point it looked, oh, that looked impossible to do, then I would take the next candle that I can use, which would have been this one here, and I would have said, okay, if that's the case, where would it go? And then I'd go 
click, click. You don't have to have all these clicks. You can just take, everybody's got a trend line. You can just take one trend line and make the next one a dash trend line. And then you've got a left side to right side. And where does it go to? It goes to next week um, to get to 4.30. That would be more conservative. And then the, a, a little bit more aggressive, I would say. I was being a little conservative. But if you use my Chapman Wave Inside Wedge, which I'll, I'll be reviewing tonight, look how perfectly this has become resistance to all those bars that spiked up. And even to today's bar, it's right at that resistance and it's in leg C. So that's what I like to do. You know, so this is a, what, a 12%, a 12 gain on a very low price stock. It has the potential to do more, but it could also fail. But that's what I like to do in terms of mixing it up. And look at the nine period moving over the 14. So I'm going to be talking about different sectors, different areas. There's a stock that we missed the other day. I loved it, but I just... I couldn't get in at that point. I was I almost had a split long. I would have missed the split long. This is remittly Global Inc. Financial Services for Immigrants uh, trading at 24.98, up 8 cents. So I liked it right over as it was moving up there. And I thought, oh, now it's too late. It's already gone to a leg C under the previous D. It could stall at 24.51, but it's gone higher. But in the bigger perspective, this is a stock that should be on my list as a watch stock for the next big pullback because this is not going away. Financial services for immigrants, this is going to be around. So look at that beautiful left side, right side price time match. It went the, to the exact bar. Um, these are the things we want to look at. What, what are viable entities for this particular phase going into September and then through into October? Are we going to make a major September low or October low and then have? I don't see that. I think there's a lot of buying out there. Um, even today, you should have had a lot of nervousness. You got kind of nervousness. You got a lot of pullbacks on every bounce. But I'm way up to more optimistic than pessimistic. At the same time, I'm not. I'm a realist. So we have our positions. We take profits when we can. We add back to those pro uh, those particular positions. Um, it's just a moment where you have to be very flexible. And the flexibility is what's going to allow you to keep your capital for the next decent low that comes in that says, now I want to buy. For instance, why wouldn't an Airbnb be on your list when it's in an area to watch? You don't have to buy it right now. But Airbnb is the leader in the field. Um, at least it's the, the vocal leader. People talk about Airbnb. It's almost a, it's become a, a verb to a noun. So uh, Airbnb at the 200 period moving average. I want to talk about the 200 period moving average, how you can use it tonight. Look at this, how it was swung over and under, over and over. And then when it took off, it was a spectacular move from the 112 to 150s. And now it's come back all the way to retest for four, for three sessions. And the last session was just above the, the 200 period moving average. And today is quite a bit more at 127.37. What would I be looking at if I was interested in buying Airbnb uh, for the, for the subscribers, one of the one of the factors. What about what about all the beaten, beaten, beaten down stocks like a Disney? Is it worth wasting your time on a Disney that makes lower lows and lower highs, when in fact it should actually start to to, to look good? I mean, but it hasn't. So then there are the times where I say, look, this is keep it as an interest stock. But I wouldn't do anything. I'd rather be overpaying on the upside as it starts to make higher highs than lower lows. But it's in a basing area. So there are a lot of questions that have come in. Another another one that is very important is the XLF. So we have not been in the, anything in the financials for a while. We Every year for the last seven years or so, we bought Bank of America um, at its lows and then ran it all the way to the 30 something, we bought it under 30 or around about 30. And as it got to the 35s or, or even higher, we would take profits and then get out and wait for another buy for a long time. We haven't even touched Bank of America. Look at this. It's struggling. And I'm not happy when the financials are not happy because I think for a, the next big bull phase, we've got to see the financials doing something really good. So in other words, I'm preparing us. We've already got really nice positions. I'm also preparing us for the potential that if the SMHs are telling us a story, and today's now they're up 2.54, waiting for NVIDIA. What, what if NVIDIA comes out 
and it's just a blowout uh, earnings report, and the outlook is really positive. And instead of plunging after a big move intra night overnight, the next tomorrow morning it plunges. Instead, it just powers up. I would love that. We would get out of our short positions. We'd be looking at a, a reassessment to see whether or not this is going to lead us up uh, in another move. Maybe the whole of August doesn't take out the left side high of 161.17, but out of the blue in September, it makes legs see up in the monthly chart at all-time highs. I want to be prepared for all those situations. So we've got our positions. Got cash, we're ready, and we're looking at different sectors that have potential downside, humbleness, and upside. I'll be right back. Attention, traders and investors. Are you ready to elevate your game in the stock market? On August 23rd, join Basil Chapman, the mastermind behind the renowned Chapman Wave methodology in a subscriber-exclusive 90-minute webinar. From 4 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern, dive deep into the secrets of the 914 moving average, decode market turns, and get a head start on the stock outlook for September and October. The golden opportunity is free for all opening call subscribers. And if you're not on board yet as a subscriber, here's the deal. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Zero risks, all rewards. So what are you waiting for? Visit the front page of TFNN.com now and secure your spot. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, folks, uh, yeah, just check there. Uh, okay, so the Dow's up 119, S&P's up 37. Uh, we're looking at the gold actually holding very nicely. It's going to be quite important. Is this telling us that the TLT might have made some kind of a low with this little V-shaped turnaround. Uh, look, the weekly chart had this beautiful lowercase h that goes to lowercase m within a large arch formation. 91.85 was the low on 26th of October. Now you're getting to 92.23. We'll be talking about that tonight in my, my webinar. We'll know a lot more after the close. 
Uh, in fact, the next few days is going to give us an incredible amount of information. We're looking at the different sectors. I'm going to deal with some of I'm going to be dealing with these technical factors that I've spoken about so often. I'm going to try to integrate them into positions that we have, how they should keep going, why they are, are looking good, why they might be vulnerable, etc. But at the same time, most importantly, it's where do I think the market is going to go over the next couple of weeks, going to September and then October, and what sectors should benefit? I mean, we had um, uh, AN. Yes, AN, this is uh, ordination. Uh, this is automobiles, auto sales. It had a fantastic run to the 180s and then it plunged down to the 149 area. Now it's at 157 stalling. Is this telling us about something uh, about the automobile? We'll be looking at all these different sectors and trying to make some kind of assessment. There will be something going on live with NVIDIA and all that with the uh, e-mini futures. But uh, that's just a tiny part of it. I really am going to go into depth in the different techniques that I have. Uh, in the Chapman Wave methodology. And I've had questions, and you can send me a question at Basil Chapman at tfn.com beforehand. I'll check them out. We'll go through these things in great detail. Uh, it's for subscribers. It's a money-back guarantee. So if you're not happy about it, go through my webinar and then say, hey, tough luck is to come out of here. Uh, but at the same time, there's a lot of learning and you have pretty great positions. And we'll wonderful rest of the day. I hope to see you at 4 o'clock on the uh, Ivan Natural News Network's 